Hello, I'm Shahar Sobit, Development Manager for E4D Mobile, the official supporters of jQuery Mobile in Israel, and I'll explain a little bit about the new UI builder on the JQM side. Uh, for those of you who don't understand my English, maybe you should pause or try and understand. Uh, it's not my fault. I was born South African. Um, I'll just go to the jQuery mobile site. Uh, there I can find the actual UI builder. Just scroll down a little bit. And I can see here a demo of a tablet. I would say a Galaxy tablet, maybe. Um, and all the features that I can put in through jQuery mobile. So this is basically drag and drop. I can go, let's say, to toolbars, pick a page header. Um, I can pick my theme out of the regular themes, um, change maybe the name to my page, something nice and interesting, um, add maybe content holders like a, lap uh, a collapsible list, um, I'll pick a theme for that and a theme for the content, uh, give it a name. Probably with a few spelling mistakes. Um, just add a button and then I can have a button that also leads somewhere so maybe this should lead to Google for now uh, basically I could also add transitions like slide pop whatever um, for transitions between two jQuery mobile pages um, I can also add an icon let's add an icon of a right arrow just to see that it goes uh, um, that could go with a transition or whatever um, and I can also pick, pick a theme just like every other one I'll just pick a blue theme here um, then I can press preview and I can see everything working the collapsible area, the Google, the button um, and then afterwards, uh, uh, after that I can just download the actual HTML and I'll have the actual page HTML on my computer um, I can open the HTML, just open the zip file that I downloaded if it opens um, open the file Press the HTML and it opens in my browser. Just like I built it, I can see it here. I can see the collapsible area, the button, uh, but the button doesn't lead anyway, so I want it to lead somewhere. So I'll open the HTML uh, with Xcode this time. You can also open it in Eclipse or Dash Code or whatever you want to edit your HTML in. I can see the uh, jQuery CSS here, the jQuery and jQuery mobile um, JavaScripts. Uh, it gives me a place to add my custom styles in JavaScript. This is just, um, I can add it anyway, uh, but uh, that's uh, the proposal from them. Um, I can see my page header, the content, uh, my button, and I can actually change the href on my button to lead somewhere else. So I'll leave this to Google. And hopefully, this will now lead to Google. I'll refresh the page, press my button, and it leads to Google. Just so we can see it in the actual iPhone, let's copy this to the simulator. I have an iPhone simulator here. Go into Safari. Paste my page. And now I can see the page just as I made it in jQuery Mobile with a collapsible area and everything, go to Google, and that opens Google. Um, and that's actually how I do, in three minutes, that's actually how I do a small web page in jQuery Mobile. It can do all kinds of interesting things. From here on, you can add your own JavaScript, you can add your own functionality, but this is a basic UI that you can build.